Then, uh, Marcus Rashford, he's out of contract next summer, but with an option for my United to extend the contract for further season. But at the moment, he's really happy with the impact of Eric Ten Hag. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to update you on the transfer market and on all the latest. And today, to discuss with you about many topics about Manchester United. Bit quiet on the transfer market right now, after signing Malasia, of course, and then uh, Christian Eriksen, Lisandro Martinez, so many important signings, but they need many other signings but they have Eric Ten Hag doing decisions together with the board, making important decisions. So let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start with Manchester United general situation. We know that they, after signing Malasia, Eriksen, Lisandro Martinez, now they are looking to resolve the Cristiano Ronaldo situation and they are waiting to understand if they will be able to change Frankie de Jong's mind or not. This is a really important point because, let me clarify, there is an agreement still valid between Man United and Barcelona, 75 million euros plus 10 million euros in add-ons for Frankie de Jong, everything ready between clubs, but Frankie is still on the same position, no intention to leave, uh, to leave uh, Barcelona, so let's see if Man United will be able to change the situation on player side in the coming days, in the coming weeks or not. So for Frankie, still the same situation. For Cristiano Ronaldo, an important exit strategy by Jorge Mendes. The manager of Cristiano Ronaldo, his agent Jorge Mendes, has decided to push again with many clubs around Europe in the coming weeks. So at the moment, May United are on their position. They want Cristiano to stay. Eric Ten Hag really wants Cristiano to stay, wants Cristiano to be the star of the team, wants to have a conversation with Cristiano and and then understand if he wants to be uh, the star of Man United or if he still wants to leave. But what I'm told is that Jorge Mendes is planning for new direct contacts with many clubs around Europe and not only in the coming days. So Mendes will be on it again. At the moment, it's a no for Thomas Tuchel. It's a no in public from Bayern. And let's see if Mendes will push again because I'm told that he has intention to try again with all these clubs and also with Atletico Madrid. They need to sell players like Morata, there is Juventus interested, Saul, let's see what happens. But once they will sell players, maybe from Atletico Madrid, they will have some opportunities to sign new players in general because now they're going for Nahuel Molina and let's see if Mendes will push again for Ronaldo also there but his intention is to try and try again around Europe for Ronaldo also in the next week and in the next two weeks so Ronaldo remains an important name on the market and the exit strategy for Mendes is the same of last summer try until the end last summer was really difficult then Man City appeared at the end of August and then Man United in 24 hours completed the signing uh, and it means that for Jorge Mendes sometimes the way Waiting strategy is the best exit strategy. So this is the situation, but let me mention, for my United, Ronaldo is not for sale, and for Ten Hag, he wants a meeting face-to-face -face with Cristiano to discuss about his future. And then, Eric Ten Hag, guys, because he's having a very good impact with the players, with the dressing room, all the players are super happy with him, and Eric Ten Hag is doing a very good job at Manchester United in this preseason. Then, of course, it would be important to do it also in the real new season. But let me mention his decision on four players. The first one, Anthony Martial, because he communicated Eric Ten Hag and the board to the player, their intention, May United, to keep the player at the club this season. Two clubs approached May United for a potential loan deal after the loan uh, to Sevilla in January, but in this case, May United said no. We want to keep the player and we trust Martial. He's doing very good in pre-season. Uh, Ten Hag is really happy with him. And so, at the moment, this is the situation. May United want Martial to stay. Then, uh, Marcus Rashford. He's out of contract next summer, but with an option for May United to extend the contract for further season, but at the moment he's really happy with the impact of Eric Ten Hag, and as of now, Ten Hag has decided to keep Marcus Rashford at the club too this summer. He was in the list at Paris Saint-Germain with Pochettino as a manager, now it's completely different, no Leonardo, no Pochettino, and so PSG are not working for Rashford, and so May United are prepared to keep him at the club. Donny van de Beek also staying, Eric Ten Hag really happy with his approach these days, of course it will be up to Donny now to show again all his skills, but Eric Ten Hag is really confident and so for Donny van de Beek is another important step, he's gonna stay and have another chance with Manchester United and we know that with Ten Hag it could be really important for him to have another opportunity and then guys, a talent. Garnacho, because I'm told that Ten Hag uh, is really convinced of the skills of this boy. Let's see if Man United will decide to keep him or to send him alone during the window. But the idea of the club is to offer him a new contract. It's also approved by the manager. And so contract discussions will be ongoing with Garnacho, And this is part of the Manchester United strategy. 
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Eric Ten Hag era just started. How are your feelings? How, what do you think on Cristiano Ronaldo, on the season, on these players? I wait for your comments here, guys, as always, to understand your feeling on Manchester United situation. As always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano. And guys, remember to subscribe because crazy end of July and beginning of August is coming.